Hey guys. So today I'm gonna update my wife's laptop which is running Arch Linux and I installed this a few months ago. However, she don't really use much her laptop and she's just using her phone for almost everything now. And today when I took out from the shelf, I decided to just um, what do you call this? Update it before so I can again and the last update that I have done is if you watch my my previous video before the command is grab yes type in the grab syu to check the var lag pacman that lag the tail one dash one as a addition as you can see here my last update to this is March 11 in which it's yeah it's a little over four months from date as you could see here on the notification this KDE plasma by the way so new fetch it's a KDE plasma and the last KDE plasma is 5.24 and the kernel that I have installed here is the LTS version since it's a really old laptop not really really old maybe about six years of uh, age or five years anyway checking at the notification from the discover there's total of 1.4 four gigabytes and it's will install a lot however I wanted to install using the using the uh, let me see if there is yeah there is I believe Paru here Paru let's just test hmm, there is Paru installed here so anyway I'm not gonna run the Paru SYU I'm gonna inst I'm gonna just download first the official packages by running a sudo pacman SYU and then let's see what happened So Kaylin, yes, I just say yes to all of this. Oop. Wire plumber and I think this is because the by default they use now the wire plumber for the pipe wire. So or if you encounter this, I believe we need to remove the pipe wire media session. So let's remove that. Pipe wire media session required by Kevin hmm. interesting so let's just remove without removing the other two let me install first the wire plumber yes So that's solved it. Installing the wire plumber will just automatically remove the pipe wire media session. So let's just again update. Yes. So it's a 1.4 gigabyte. And this is. Yeah. So I'm just gonna install this and then. Mm. I call this and then I'm just gonna fast forward this and then later on I'm gonna oh there's also a 5.18 the Linux but yeah huh. 
So there is also a Linux that I installed, the normal Linux kernel. And I think that was because when I installed the app call it's it's uh, it's also required to install the Linux headers. I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm just booting it to LTS by default. So I'll bring it back once this time. Okay, requesting for a PGP key. Let's just accept that. Otherwise, it will not proceed. Okay, it's unknown, so let's import, yes. Okay, asking one to delete, yes. Yeah, because if I don't, mm, error packages. So when you encounter this, I think what I did on my system is I just rerun it again <laughs> let's see and by default just keep saying yes so see it's, a, it's already downloaded most of the packages now the only thing needed to download is only two megabytes 2.37 megabytes so let's install that one okay so it seems like finish updating the official packages i noticed here earlier here hmm. where is that a bit yellow here nothing okay so let's try to run one more time by arrow up key nothing to do so let's upgrade the AUR packages. Okay, this same size a lot. But anyway, let's just download it. I know that there is a issue with the TTF MS Win 10 package, at least on my laptop. Uh, let's see if it's gonna install okay by this time you can see that it is downloading the whole ISO package for the font I'm gonna cancel it here because as far as I remember there is a new AUR oh wait because now there is this refresh actually I know I needed she needed sometimes so I'm gonna just gonna install this TTF but first let me remove the the old one TTF what's the name of that MS Win 10 Auto MS in 10 auto and TTF MS win 10 what's that? Korean there is also Korean here yeah auto Korean
yes removing this so let's try to run again the AUR hmm. okay I'm gonna install the um, the FMS in 11 auto I'm just gonna install this which is 1 and 3 so this will take some time so I'm just gonna um, as far as I remember it's gonna take some time because the it's gonna download the whole ISO then it will extract extract all the funds in there so I'll be like I'll be right back or I'm just gonna forward the video first thing let me just clean up the cache Yes, clean up, clean up, clean up, then let's try again, <laughs> if not, then I'm just gonna skip this and then I'm gonna install it at a la later stage, because and want to and I'm just gonna go back to install the <laughs> winter <laughs> one and then three this when I install it before oh. since it's like faster download now than before oh no I'm gonna download this later I'm gonna stop otherwise the video will just get too long and I'm gonna 
I'm just gonna updates. Oh, no more, no more. Did a fix application for the update. I'm just gonna reboot the system. Hopefully, my OBS can still pick up. I'm co I connected it to my main laptop, so I'm just gonna do. Boots didn't catch the initial one, but it reboots. Yay! All right. Try and run again. See if there is. Thing. So, anyway, apart from the, apart from the Win 10 or the Windows fonts, this I didn't really encounter anything like my other systems. So don't be afraid to use Arch, don't think that you need to update all the time, it's just, I believe that's just a, uh, what I call this, maybe before, but I've been using Arch on my systems before and I never really had issues, okay anyway. I hope you like it. If you have any comment, please comment down at the comment and please share and subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.